tuberculosis uh, is an ancient disease. Uh, it's an old disease that has been in, uh, in humans and also in elephants. And the cross transmission between uh, elephants and human beings, it has been for a long time, especially where they are in close uh, contact or they are staying together, especially in zoos or in uh, circuses. Um, so it is not new uh, case, but the case that is new that we are reporting is reporting an animal that is in free range, it is in the wild. This is the elephant that was infected and this animal is within the stockade after being rescued from the wild and it was, being, it was brought into, this, into the stockade for treatment. So the first day it was treated and it, will, it looked like it will survive but after a day it succumbed, it died and so we did post-mortem and opening the animal we found the lungs, both sides of the lungs, were covered with white, uh, white mass. As you can see, these are the lungs. They don't look normal. The normal part was a very small portion, this reddish part. Uh, this was the normal part. The other areas were all covered with a white mass. And those ones are <coughs> symbolic of uh, uh, the TB uh, kind of infection. For a long time, uh, people believed that animals should be left in the wild without intervention, without any veterinary clinical care or whatever. And that is true because those days or those years, the environment was stable and it was pristine. But as, as, as the environments uh, get degraded, the immune system of the animals and they are uh, interacting with other, with other pathogens from maybe humans or domestic they are likely to become susceptible and we are likely to face more, uh, more of uh, pathogens that may threaten our populations. These are the ones those guys are selling. Jesus. <laughs> 